Welcome to this introduction to Touch Camera Pro. So let's see together how to use that camera. So first, the basic move are with the mouse. If I want to rotate around the middle point, I can use the left or the right button of my mouse. Um, the middle button of the mouse is used to translate on the Z and X axis. And I can also zoom in, zoom out using the scroll wheel of the mouse. If I press down Alt key, I can also grab the floor and really precisely move around. It's really handy. And then if I want also to, for example, simulate fingers, uh, I can use the control key. So if I press Alt first, I'm placing the middle point of my fingers and the control key is there to uh, put two fingers on screen. So that way you can see I'm simulating the pitch, the, the pinch and the twist at the same time. And I can do that from any point of the screen. So that's pretty cool. I can grab here the top left, the top left of my, uh, my screen and I can zoom from there. Next picture is the perspective switch. So you can see here we are um, on a perspective 3D view. But if I press the space bar, I'm switching to an orthographic top-down view. And then you can have access to the exact same um, inputs. I can use the left and right mouse button to translate my camera on uh, Z and X. Uh, I can zoom in, zoom out using the scroll wheel. I can grab the floor using the Alt key. And I can also use the um, the control key to also simulate the pinch and twist from any point of my camera. Next picture is uh, the zoom in, the, the focus on an object. So if I click here, I'm really focusing on the object. The render or the collider of that object is taken into account to calculate the boundaries. And then the camera is focusing in. And of course, this is working in both perspective and orthographic modes. You can see here on, when I'm transiting to um, the mode, one of the modes, this is really keeping the exact same center points and exact same distance. So if, if I'm really far from, let's say, that middle cube here, and then I'm getting back to the 3D version, uh, perspective version, I'm still focusing on that cube, but I'm keeping the same distance. If I'm focusing really closely on that cube and then I'm switching to the perspective mode, I'm really keeping the cube in the center and the distance from it as well. Last feature is the uh, boundaries. So you can see here on screen I have uh, boundaries and my camera center cannot go out of it. And this is working in both uh, perspective and orthographic views. Now let's see how the camera behave on a real mobile device.